Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. Alright, so today uh, you will learn about Unit 6, Go Green and today's focus is Language Arts. So today you will learn English with me, Madam Liana. Okay, so um, before we start our lesson today, I will recap uh, about last week's lesson which was about present continuous tense. I noticed that some of you do not understand, did not understand about the use of uh, verb to be, am, is and are. Okay, let me show you. Right. Okay, so actually present continuous tense is formed with verb to be plus verb ing okay i think most of you understand about subject but you forgot about verb to be okay and uh yeah most of you uh, know about verb ing okay it means you uh, add ing with the verb but you forgot to write m is and r okay this is very important okay for subject i you must add M before driving. Okay, so I am driving. You cannot ignore M. Let's say I driving. Okay, I straight away driving. Okay, let me show you. Okay, I. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, let's say I driving. Okay. Straight away, I driving, no M. So, it is wrong. Okay, you must add, I am driving. Okay, he, she, it, you must use is. Okay, so he is working. She is working. It is working. And the same as we, you, they, you must use are. Okay, we are studying. You are studying. They are studying. So, verb to be, this one is very important. Okay, let us look at another example. Okay, here, present continuous tense. Okay, the structure. Subject is MR plus verb ING. For example, he is playing football. You see, there is the word is. No, okay. Uh, he is playing, correct. He playing football, wrong. Okay. Next, okay. This is the positive form, negative form. Remember the word not. He is not playing football. That is correct. He not playing football, that is wrong. Okay. So you must remember to write is, is, okay, M, R. Okay, I hope you understand. Alright, so um, let's move on to today's lesson. Okay, the learning objective for today are, number one, you should be able to identify the elements of the front and back cover of a book. Number two, you will be able to read a blurb of a book and title Hansel and Gretel. And the last one, number three, you will be able to create a front cover of Hansel and Gretel book. Number one, elements of the front and back cover of a book. Okay. So you may refer to page 60 in your textbook. Alright, okay. If you see at your, uh, if you see your textbook, you turn to page for, uh, 60. Okay, you may see this picture. Alright, this is the book of Hansel and Gretel. Okay, so I will introduce to you the elements of the front cover. Okay, the front cover and the back cover. Okay, saya akan terangkan elemen yang ada pada uh, muka depan buku dan juga muka belakang buku. Okay, but first, what do you see 
on the front cover of the book. Okay, apa yang kamu boleh lihat pada muka depan pertama, muka depan bagi buku ini. Okay. I give you time to answer. Okay, thank you. So next, what do you see on the back cover of the book? Now look at the back of uh, back cover of the book. What can you see here? All right, thank you. So as you can see, there are words all right on the on both front cover and back cover of the book now i will introduce to you what are the elements of the front cover okay of the front cover of the book okay this is the front cover again as i say this is the front cover and this is the back cover of the book okay i hope you understand okay moving on to the front cover. Alright, this is the front cover of the book Hansel and Gretel. So, the first element is the brother's scream. The brother's scream is actually the name of the author. Okay, nama penulis buku ini adik-beradik Grimm. Okay, that is the first element. Let's look at the second one. Okay, Hansel and Gretel is the title of the book. Okay, tajuk buku. Okay, and the third element is images. Of course, when you want to buy a book, there are some images, right? Okay, so uh, on the front cover of this book, we, uh, it has image. Okay, and it is used to... Uh, the function of this image is to uh, attract your attention, okay, to buy or to read the books. Okay, ini adalah image pada muka depan uh, buku. Okay, fungsinya adalah untuk menarik perhatian kamu sebagai uh, pembeli ataupun sebagai pembaca untuk membeli atau baca buku ini. Okay, so we have one, two, three, okay. one, name of the author, two, title of the author and that one images now let's look at the elements of the uh, back cover of the book okay number one blurb okay this is what we call blurb okay it is actually a description of the book okay so here we have words okay it's like a paragraph Okay, the description means uh, uh, penceritaan sedikit, penerangan sedikit tentang buku tersebut. Okay, next. Oh, sorry. Um, barcode. Okay, so let me write it for you. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Bar. Pardon my writing. Okay, so this is barcode. Okay, uh, we use barcode. Let's say you want to buy this book at the bookstore. So the cashier uh, will uh, scan the barcode. So it will uh, state the price of the book. Okay, uh, bila penjual tu, awak nak keluar nak beli kan? So kat counter bayaran tu, uh, per apa? Cashier kan? Cashier akan juruang tu akan scan bakut tu. So, terkeluar lah. Uh, okay, harga buku ni berapa? Okay, let's. Uh, it's like that. Okay. And number three. Images. Also, at the back of the, at the back cover of the front book, we also have images. But, uh, maybe it is different with the front cover. The images uh, in the front cover. Okay. Okay, next. Number two. Activity number two. Read a blurb of the book Hansel and Gretel. Okay, you may refer to page 60 in your textbook. Okay, this is the blurb. Okay, the description of the book. Now, we will read it. Okay, you may repeat after me. Okay, kita akan bacakan blurb ini. Okay, kamu boleh uh, ikut baca selepas saya. 
Thank you. Let's start. Hansel and Gretel is the story of two young children abandoned by their father and stepmother in the forest. The children, who are lost in the forest, stumble upon a chocolate and candy coated house. An old witch who lives in the house invites Hansel and Gretel in. Okay, so I will repeat it one more time. I will pause um, and you may repeat uh, reading after me. Okay, teacher akan ulang lagi sekali. Teacher akan um, pause. Okay, berhenti and kamu boleh ulang. Okay, let's start. Hansel and Gretel is the story of two young children abandoned by their father and stepmother in the forest. The children who are lost in the forest stumble upon a chocolate and candy coated house. An old witch who lives in the house invites Hansel and Gretel in. Alright, so I will explain the blurb that you uh, that we read just now. So Hansel and Gretel, okay, adalah satu cerita mengenai dua orang kanak-kanak muda yang ditinggalkan oleh bapa dan ibu tirinya di dalam hutan. Okay, sian orang kan. Okay, kanak-kanak ini, okay, sesat yang telah pun sesat di dalam hutan. Okay, lepas dah tinggalkan, dah ditinggalkan tu, orang sesat. Stumble upon a chocolate and candy coated house. Terjumpa sebuah rumah cok, sebuah rumah yang uh, diliputi ataupun dikelilingi dengan coklat dan candy. Uh, chocolate dan uh, manisan gula-gula. Okay. An old witch. So, orang ahli sihir tua. Ya, yeah, who lives in the house yang tinggal di dalam rumah itu. Rumah yang chocolate and candy coated house ni. Invites. Okay. Mengajak, menjemput Hansel and Gretel masuk. Okay. So, that is the story. The gist of the story. Okay. What uh, the book is all about. Okay. So, um... Just to, okay, just to uh, attract you to read the book after this, okay. Uh, there are a few characters in the story, and number one, Hansel. Okay, Hansel is a young boy. Okay, budak lelaki. Gretel. Okay, seorang budak perempuan. Okay, they are siblings. Mereka ni ada beradik. Okay, father. Okay, Hansel and Gretel's father, ayahnya. Stepmother, Ibu Tiri, Hansel and Gretel. And also Witch. Okay, seorang Ali, Sihi. Okay, now moving on to the exercise of today. So, you have to create a front cover of the book Hansel and Gretel. Okay, you may refer to some examples provided. Okay, so uh, the... So, what you will learn today, uh, what you will do today is you have to create a front cover. Awak kena buat ataupun uh, uh, create lah, buat, uh, buat front cover uh, muka depan buku Hansel and Gretel. But it is your own design, okay? Design awak sendiri. Okay, macam mana awak nak create benda tu? Macam mana awak nak lukis, uh, nak jadikan dia... Uh, uh, book cover yang cantik uh, muka depan sahaja ok so let me show you the examples examples of pictures ok you can google it actually you just type 
uh, Hansel and Gretel so you can see a lot of pictures but these are the ones that I um, save and I want to display or show it to you okay so Hansel and Gretel okay and the house okay chocolate and candy coated house and also this one okay this is the witch okay you may use this image uh, these pictures i don't mind okay awak boleh guna awak boleh guna apa yang teacher uh, dah share kat sini this is a uh, uh, these are just the examples okay contoh-contoh yang awak boleh lukis awak boleh gunakan okay next okay more pictures okay Hansel and Gretel okay this is the house this is the house Okay, Hansel and Gretel. No, so Hansel and Gretel. Okay, so remember when you want to create a front cover of the book Hansel and Gretel, you must have name of the author. Mesti ada nama penulis. Okay, refer to your textbook. Okay, ada dalam textbook awak. Okay, number one. Number two, the title of the book. Okay, buku apa takkan tak tahu kan? Takkan tak tulis, ha? Huh? Okay, the title of the book, write down Hansel and Gretel. Okay, and then the number three, images. Okay, gambar, design awak macam mana. Okay, so it's up to you. It's your own creativity. Ha, teacher nak tengok siapa yang kreatif, siapa yang pandai hasilkan uh, muka depan buku yang cantik, menarik. Macam kalau teacher tengok buku tu, wah, nak belilah, nak baca lah. Okay. Um, so I guess uh, that's all for today. Thank you. If you have any question, you can ask me anytime through WhatsApp. Okay, so I see you next week. Bye. Assalamualaikum.